Hi, thanks for joining us. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. We begin with highlights from the State of the City Address. All eyes were on Mayor Adler as he spoke to the community about the biggest issues facing Austin, COVID-19, homelessness, transportation, and racial justice. This was the year that forced us to see injustice, unlike any time before. Like someone grabbing and, and holding our face between their hands and not letting us turn away, forcing us to look at the unfairness around us and our part in perpetuating it. Mayor Adler didn't mince words about the effects this pandemic is having on the physical health of our residents and the health of our economy. He acknowledged the devastating loss on both fronts. And while the pandemic may have left our streets a bit more manageable, city leaders are well aware we can't ignore the transportation issues that our growing city has seen in the past. In our community, far too many of the people most in need of affordable, reliable, rapid transportation to meet their daily needs and improve their lives don't have it. Project Connect is a bold transit plan for the just and accessible city we aspire to be. It certainly addresses traffic, but it'll do so much more. While Project Connect will likely go before voters in the November election, the issue of homelessness won't be on the ballot. But that doesn't mean the city isn't working on solutions. I am proud this community has embraced the discomfort that comes with big challenges and that we are working together on the real solutions to homelessness, to end it, not just address it. Finally, the mayor addressed an issue no one can or should ignore, racial justice. This is the moment to define who we are. We should dedicate ourselves to doing justice and not in little ways. We must rise to the moment and change history. Switching now to news about one of Austin's most popular outdoor attractions. The Barton Creek and Bull Creek Greenbelts just reopened, offering more opportunities for Austinites to beat the heat. But there's a catch. To limit overcrowding, advanced reservations will now be required to enter the Barton Creek Greenbelt Thursdays through Sundays at the following entrances. Hill of Life, Mopac at Gaines Creek, Loop 360 east of Mopac, Gus Fru, Spyglass, Homedale Drive at Barton Hills, and Zilker Park west of Barton Springs Pool. All entrances will be monitored and visitors will need to show proof of registration upon arrival. Remember, be respectful of neighbors, only park in identified parking areas, and pick up your trash. Reserve your spot today, free of charge, at austintexas.gov slash parks. While the city continues to open up new amenities, we are not out of the woods yet with COVID-19. More free testing opportunities are now available. New neighborhood testing locations opened at Del Valley Middle School and in Pflugerville. If you are experiencing any symptoms or have had recent exposure to someone with the virus, Schedule an appointment today at covid19.austintexas.gov. While waiting for your test results, remember to continue to isolate at home. We're all in this together, Austin. This month, we celebrate the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, the amendment that gave women the right to vote. It would take another 55 years for the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965 that guaranteed full voting rights for all women born in this country. A new free virtual exhibit from the Elizabeth Ney Museum explores these milestones with a virtual photo show. It's called Suffrage Now, a 19th century amendment centennial exhibition. Contemporary female American photographers tell the stories of suffrage struggles and the current state of voting. The photographs are an inspiration and reminder for all of us to get out there and vote this November. This show is available online through January 31st. Visit austintexas.gov slash Elizabeth Ney Museum for more information. Finally, if you've virtually tuned into the city's council meetings and news conferences, know that it doesn't just magically come together with a snap of some fingers. Like so many of us, city staff had to learn how to switch to a fully virtual production and they had to learn fast. Since March, staff with the City Clerk's Office, the Communications and Technology Management Department, and ATXN, the City of Austin's Government Access Channel. These groups have all come together to support more than 20 City Council meetings 
40 plus news conferences, and more than, get this, 240 board and commission meetings. Okay, thank you. This team makes it possible for city leaders and Austinites to interact with each other in English and Spanish. In June, there were more than 2,700 speakers in two meetings alone. This dream team leans on each other to make sure all the meetings run smoothly, or as smoothly as things can go in a virtual world. Big thanks to the Austin community for also being patient with us as we adjust to this new way of serving you. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching, Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our dedicated webpage, austintexas.gov slash COVID-19. Stay well, Austin.